woke wait what is this woke crowd kicked me out of volunteering oh, what what this is the guy who did the fixing concord video right the, he's a game dev hi everyone thanks for joining me today i just wanted to check in with you and have a little talk and thank everyone who has recently subscribed so for everyone who has recently joined the channel thank you very much for coming to hang out and i really appreciate that you were here thank you for your support today i just wanted to talk about what's up with my channel and what i'm doing online I know a lot of people yeah, he did. have seen uh, some of my speeches. He did like some recently, Concord and stuff, and he's like, he's kind of um, industry. He's kind of a game developer that's cautioning game companies against the whole DEI kind of woke wokeification. And I just want to let you know, I don't like doing those. That is not something that I really want to do. I just want to make video games. I want to make cool things for people. I want to make fun games and in between that while i'm making my games part of me is kind of like why'd you make the video then if that's not what you want to do but then part of me is also like you do kind of have to gatekeep you have to defend your space and the fact that none of us gate kept any of this is the reason why we're having this problem right now so uh nature man asks what does dei stand for again diversity equity and inclusion it is basically I have to be very careful how I say this. You hire people based on immutable characteristics so that you can have a diverse cast rather than it being merit-based, right? So for instance, in a merit-based society, the best person would get the job. You would have a list of people. You don't really care what they look like. You don't really care about their background. Who is the best? Who has the best stats for the job? And that's who you would hire. The DEI thing is basically like, well, we don't have enough X people. You know, we don't have an, I'm just going to say, it. we don't have enough slimes. We don't have enough blue people. We need to add more blue people to like our company because we just don't have enough. Essentially, I think the DEI people are people who watched Pokemon as kids and they took the gotta catch them all a little bit too seriously. Maybe I'll make some fun and interesting videos here and there for people to have a laugh at. I don't like doing industry speeches because we are addressing topics that can be quite difficult to address and it will earn me enemies. And I understand that and I've accepted that. So why I don't want to do these speeches is that Unfortunately, there is negativity involved in what you have to say, but when someone does something wrong, you have to point it out. And if you. Yeah, and, and again, it's like I said earlier, the fact that like nobody gate kept this is the reason why we're having this problem right now. If like more people spoke up when all of this started, but the, here's the thing if you spoke up before, it was at a point where most people didn't care. Most people, ah, eh, whatever. I don't really care that much, right? Like, whatever. So there was nobody else to back you up when you got shitted on. So, like, you poked your head out of the ground. You said, hey, I don't like this. This is kind of weird. And then everyone just kind of, like, keeping quiet. Like, ah, I don't really care that much. And then the people who, are, who want this whole thing, they all shot you in the face. So it was kind of like, now you kind of do have to stand up. Don't. Things can snowball out of control into catastrophic levels. I don't want to do these speeches and I don't need to do these speeches. I don't care about the clicks or the views, but I'm doing this not because I want to or need to, but because I choose to. And I choose to stick up for gamers and developers who feel like they are not being heard, that their voices are being ignored by the games industry. And so that is why I'm doing these industry speeches. I am a solo developer. I run my own studio. I make my own games. I make exactly what I want, for better or worse, even if I don't have a huge audience, even if my games don't have mass appeal. That's all right by me. I like to explore sometimes weird ideas. Sometimes they don't always land, but I'm having a lot of fun with what I'm making. All my passion and heart goes into what I make and I'm able to make games that people can enjoy. So for everyone that has been enjoying my games and has appreciated what I've done, I am so grateful to you guys for enjoying my games and supporting me. In the past, I've worked in the photography and the photo marketing industry, and I saw the industry and its giants rise, and I saw them fall. I saw all of 
the elements that went into a catastrophic failure. Does does Kodak still exist? Weren't they like huge? They were like they 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 made like film for those industries. And at that point, I was working with industry veterans, and I was new. They threw me into the deep end to see if I would sink or swim. They wanted to see what I would do in a professional environment, and I learned from the very best. And unfortunately, I lacked the experience, the wisdom, and the confidence to do anything about the things that I saw going wrong. So what happened in the photography and photo marketing industry is people exactly like Kathleen Kennedy came in into CEO roles and upper management and they destroyed everything. And I couldn't understand it at the time. I didn't have enough experience and insight. And I understand now that this movement that we have been seeing over the past few years that they call feminism is not feminism. The only thing that I can describe it is neo-feminism. It is not about equality. The distinction he's trying to make is that feminism actually is both. The reason it's feminism is because obviously like the plight was originally with women, you know, women wanting rights, right? So that's why it was called feminism. But what feminism actually is, is not women empowerment. That's not really what it is. Feminism is equality based on like your, your sex. So it also applies to like men as well. Also being like equal, right? Neo-feminism, it's actually very similar to like the whole uh, DEI, DEI sort of race thing as well. The idea behind it is that we as women suffered and shit sucked for us, even though it didn't, because these are people that were born after the whole thing, right? Things suck for us, so now it's your turn to suffer. And that's also the whole idea behind a lot of the race stuff as well. Our ancestors had it bad, so now it's our turn. Now we need, like, in order for justice to occur, an eye for an eye. It is about superiority. And I will get back to that topic uh, later on in the video. But basically, these people enter spaces where they don't really have actual interest in they just want control and a sense of power and they want people who have who echo the same ideological and political views and agendas as them people that will echo them they'll tear down anyone who doesn't agree with them and put in those people even if those people are ill-suited to the roles in which they are working mm -hmm. and people like kathleen kennedy destroyed the photography and the photo marketing industry we watched Wait, Kathleen Kennedy did? Wait, why did Kathleen Kennedy do it? What was he talking about? Kathleen Kennedy destroyed the photo industry? Wait, what? Companies that seemed like they were too big to fail be utterly destroyed by people who came in not because they cared about the work, not because they cared about the industry. What's up for they me? They didn't care about the consumer or the end product. They only cared... Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened, Razin? About their oh, own Oh, people ego similar, not her specifically. I see. ...and assuming power. And that will destroy industries. And that is why I'm speaking up for the games industry. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like the photo industry, like you were talking about photos. I feel like the photo industry just died because it just was out of date. Like, how do you, how do you sell film in a world where you can store everything on the memory card? You can use the memory card over and over again. You can't use the film over and over again. And then everyone has a, has a, has a camera in their pocket. Like, how do you sell cameras? Because what I watched firsthand right in front of me happen to photography companies and in the photo marketing industry that is happening right now in the games industry. What is he and talking I about? I clearly see. I actually don't know what he's talking about. With my own eyes, I can very clearly see it. We're going to have- Am I, am I, am I missing something? I don't get what he's talking about. A disaster on our hands in the game industry. But I know that there is still time. If we all work together, we absolutely can put the ship back on the right direction. So, with my games, they all have been quite small over the past years, and I appreciate everyone who's been understanding and been supporting and cheering on my games. Lately, I've just been um, planning and working on very small games, stuff that I can make in a short amount. See, the industry is being hollowed out by people with ulterior motives and interests. Yeah, but I don't think I I don't how how is that related to cameras? Like, I don't know how that 
the gaming thing is even remotely the same. Cameras are a a technical innovation where games are a they're a creative endeavor. The camera industry is a, is a, is technical. It's like selling equipment and you know method. Uh, you know of course there's like photography photography like like taking pictures of people there it is it is creative obviously but i don't think it's the same time and that i can ship so i can keep paying my bills generally i try to aim probably more than than what i'm currently capable of but that is part of my personal endeavor to continue pushing myself to keep improving i'm not just to be dumb i don't know I, and i'm not seeing better it. games than i did previously i just want to keep improving but lately my games have been quite small I don't talk a lot about my personal life because that's. I might be really a little fixated on the video game thing. So the reason why a lot I'm of a my game games, developer. all my games are quite small right now is over the past year, I've been volunteering at a local cancel hospital. Cancel hospital? And last year, I've been volunteering at a local cancel hospital. I think he meant to say can cancer. I think he's just, he just tripped up a bit there. And I've been playing music. Just, I've been going to the hospital with a fiddle and I sit in the sort of the public area and I just play, you know, guys, what is wrong with me? The first guys, what is wrong with me? The first thing I thought in my mind was that he's sitting there in the, in the, in the cancer hospital playing the fucking sad violin song. Bro. <laughs> dude, I'm brain rotted, dude. I am so brain rotted. Oh my god. Traditional music, just something that's easy to listen to, something calming, something to cheer people up. And the staff come to me throughout the day and they're so grateful that at least I was able to brighten up their day even a little bit. People that are receiving treatments will often come down from their rooms to listen and they'll thank me for, you know, sharing some music. That with is them. really cool though. That's really nice of him friends and family who it's like it hits different you know like when you have you know music playing like in a place like that like you know in the hospital especially a hospital which is like hospitals are some of the worst places on earth like i hate being at a hospital because it's always bad news it's always something bad whenever you're at the hospital it's like always not a good thing to be there right it is it, it does hit different if it's just like the music playing versus like there's a live person playing the music like it, it, it just hits a little different are visiting and supporting their loved ones going through treatments have thanked me for that. And I don't receive any money for that. I don't brag about it. And I, I do it because I understand what it feels like to stare down the barrel of a gun that's aimed at someone else. And you feel utterly powerless and helpless to help someone. One thing that I find as I grow older and older is I feel increasingly frustrated understanding how little I can actually do for other people. I wish that there was more that I could do to help people. I wish there was something I could do to make people's lives better. And the older you get, the more you realize how little you are capable of when it comes to that. And so this is something that I can do. Yes, it takes a certain amount of time away from my work schedule. It takes a certain amount of my focus away. I should be entirely focused on my work, on my career, on advancing my studio and making more games. But I've chosen this. I have chosen to spend time at the cancer hospital because even if it's just a little bit, at least I can help someone see that there is... I don't think he... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think he actually talked about this before either, so... Hope that there can be light at the end of the tunnel. And we all know how these things go. And the thing is, is like, you know, what's a lot of people don't think about this, but I've seen it happen before when people are kind of in that state already where like their health is like kind of not in good shape. Your mental makes a big difference for like if you survive or not. So, you know, honestly, you might actually be saving some people. Cancer treatments don't always work out. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And it's the fear of not knowing it's wondering if you're ever going to get to see your loved ones again. It's knowing that they probably only have until the end of the year. And it breaks my heart that people that live on Twitter that don't spend any time in the real world that are now infesting all these different industries like movies and TV 
and video games, they don't have this kind of understanding of the world. They don't have compassion for other people. Dude, it's wherever, it's wherever the Tumblr women's went. That's where it all happened, man. People. All they care about is themselves and the Tumblrites, which are mostly women. Forcing their political views on people. And then they cry and get angry when there's any sort of criticism. And there's no room for them to gain any understanding, any improvement as a person to become a better human being. They've closed themselves off to that. And it just breaks my heart. Because one day they will be in a position in their lives where they'll, they'll need that experience and those skills to be able to to handle what's coming their way and they won't no no farpack says leaflets tip of the day to get a woman go to the tumbler. no stop it stop it do not do that have that don't and so Leaf i did not to say that frustration and that i've lost my opportunity to volunteer at the cancer hospital and the reason why i've lost that opportunity is because people from that woke community, the neo-feminists, who do not care about anything but taking control at all costs. They want control. Uh -huh. They want power. They want to tear down men. They entered the sort of the arrangement at the hospital and they wanted to have a tight control over everything. And anyone who did not bend the knee, they bullied and pushed out. And so I had been volunteering at the cancer hospital for about a year. And then these woke neo-feminists came in and assumed control and exerted their power in a way that made the environment unpleasant and unmanageable. And it's dude, a lot of it is cry bullying. They get in there and then and then they they shit up the place and then you tell them like, hey, you're shitting up the place. And they're like, you're 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 making me depressed. They do that kind of shit, dude. And so I was pushed out of that environment. I feel unsafe. I That's their favorite. I feel unsafe. Bend the knee to these neo-feminists who the internet would describe as woke. But it's it's more than just woke. It's neo-feminism. And it's not about them fighting for equality. It's them fighting for superiority and control. Uh -huh. They don't care about the damage that they cause to the world around True. them. True. And I am upset not for myself, but for the people that I was able to help, even a little bit, to bring a little Dude, bit. Dude, that's so... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Think about it, guys. Break down what's happening here and think about it. Guy goes into a hospital, says, I would like to play music for those that are suffering, and I want to play music to, like, ease their souls so that, like, they can relax a little bit and kind of maybe not think about all this shit that's happening to them for, like, a little bit. Even if even if only for a little. <laughs> these, these people, these, oh, my God, we care so much about people. And, like, we care about rights. And we care about, like, you know, we're just so nice. We're such nice people that we don't want this fucking fascist in our, in our, in our hospital. So they're literally actively denying cancer patients this service for their own ego. That's actually insane. Like, think about how crazy that is. That's 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 fucking insane. Put a brightness to their day. What? I no longer can do that at that in that environment. That's so fucking wild. The other day, I had a disturbing Dude. conversation with a lady whom I previously had a lot of respect for. And I was explaining my views that all people are equal. It doesn't matter what your gender is. It doesn't matter what you call yourself with your pronouns. Everyone is equal. Yeah. Everyone should have an equal opportunity in the workplace. Leaflet menace, uh -huh. leaflet menace. Hundred percent agree. Menace, leaflet menace, leaflet menace, leaflet in my face, and she said, "Well, you're wrong." Wait, wait, wait. What? Equal. Everyone should have an equal opportunity in the workplace. Yeah. And Obviously. she laughed in my face, and she said, "Well, you're wrong." This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. Guys, we should... Guys. <laughs> it's like, you guys remember that guy? Uh, guys, you guys remember that influencer from like, you know, like... That influencer from like such long time ago. That, that one influencer. And he, he said uh, he said that he wanted his kids to be judged by... Not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. You remember that guy? They, they don't want that. <laughs> they don't want and I was shocked. I thought she was joking. So I froze. And I said... <laughs> Excuse me? 
I said every, everyone is equal. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. Yeah, it doesn't. Right yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is like your merit, your content of your character. That's what matters. Your job. You should have that job. And she laughed and said, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. These people are crazy, dude. How did we let the clowns? How did we let the clowns out? The clowns are fucking running the country. How did how this happen? And she said her reasoning is for too long, men have been in control. And we need to fix it. God. Oh, and by my saying God. we need to fix it, that means you are saying that something is broken. <sighs> I had brought up the topic of how Ubisoft had a mentorship program that explicitly excluded males. And I said, how is it fair that young men who want to have opportunities to work in this space, that is being taken away from them? Why? How is it fair that there are now organizations that are funding and companies that are hiring based on gender and excluding males. What am I supposed to tell young men who want to have an equal opportunity to work in those? And you just suck it up, you know? That's what they want. Just suck, it, just suck it up, you know? Suck it up, bitch. It's our turn. Suck it up, bitch. That's what they want. Career fields. Am I people supposed are crazy. to tell young men that they are inferior to someone else because of the way they were born? Because of oh, their gender. see, that's the ultimate. That's dude, nature. Nature man says get a surgery. That's actually the ultimate Uno Reverso card. Is because when you pull that on them, now they're fucked. Because now they're lower on the on the they're 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 lower on the totem pole. You know, they deserve less opportunities, and they are an inferior person. Because that is what this lady was saying, and eventually she just nodded and shrugged and walked away. And that is what we're dealing with here. These neo-feminists that are online, they are not people who care about equality. They don't care about the damage they're causing. They only care to serve themselves. They want control. They want superiority. They do not want equality. And I've been so disturbed from that conversation because I was utterly disgusted that this was someone that I knew in real life. And that they we had this discussion and I said, Everyone is equal, and she said, no, you're wrong. And this is the mentality. Imagine how crazy this would be if you put it into gaming, get video game terms, okay? Imagine you're playing a game, and this one class is, like, ridiculously OP, right? And then the devs are like, oh, we need to, like, fix this, because, you know, this isn't a good idea. The whole community is like, do we need to fix this? This class is OP. So they're like, okay, we're going we're gonna to tone this down. But then, like, the other class became really OP, and now all the people in that class are like, yo, you should, yo, you should just leave it. It's like, wait, 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 I thought you wanted to, I thought you wanted to patch the game because the other class was OP. Yeah, but we should just leave it, like, right here, where we're OP. Just leave it. It's like, why? Well, I mean, they were OP for, like, a year, so we should be OP for longer. That's so ridiculous. That we are like, harboring and growing on Twitter. And we cannot allow... That's true. They didn't even nerf the class. They buffed all the other classes. Exactly, exactly. Sushi. That evil to spread any further because that is what it is. To claim that someone else is inferior because of their gender, because of the way they were born, that's is fucked not up. acceptable. Can we all agree that that's is... fucked up? That's fucked up. I think that's fucked up. It's evil. And it's we evil. can no longer abide by that. We can't overcorrect and we can't fight that by saying, oh, women are wrong, women are worse. The problem, guys, the problem, the problem here is that people don't have any principles. And the reason that they don't have any principles is because they're never challenged on their principles. This is what I've been saying. It's like, this is why it's such a good thing. Like, if you have friends, become friends with someone you don't, you don't agree with. That way you can... And, and, you know, have an open discussion, an open debate, so that you and your friend, or whoever it is, you and another person, can discuss your, your opposing values. And then you can use that opportunity to kind of shape and figure out, okay, why do I believe this? Not, I believe this. Not, I believe this, and here's why. It's, I mean, not, not I believe this, period. But why do you believe that? And why, like, how does that belief system like build a foundation for everything else I believe in. If you don't know what that is, then you just become inc inconsistent and self-serving. And that's what this whole thing is. They don't know what they actually believe in. This is why when you try to argue with them and you say like, hey, your idea is stupid and here's why. And then they freak out and they just start calling you names because they don't actually believe anything. No, 
Everyone is equal. There is no argument about that. And I know that by speaking out like this, by creating these industry speeches, I know what the consequences of my action. Lone Star Cult says, if you believe in something, you challenge it to reaffirm your faith in it. Exactly. You, you're not going to know what you believe in if you don't actually take the time to develop the foundation of why you believe in that. Are. Before I made these speeches, I had to think very carefully because as a public speaker, as yeah, that's right, a Rosin. presenter, I understand the deeper implications of what you say, how you say it, where you say it, and when you if say they, it. If they took like two seconds to think about what they what they believe yo i wonder if this is just if this is just honestly skill issue i wonder if this is just iq diff it might be actually i don't know and i know that i am receiving personal attacks now my works that i've created my games are being attacked and i know that in the future <laughs> I, I like that hobby it's a skull issue a skull issue that's pretty good. I will be reviewed. I like that. Anything that I skull issue. Uh, I'm gonna say that from now on, dude. <laughs> That's such and a good I will one. Be criticized, and I have accepted that. There's only two things I could have done. I could have kept my mouth shut and done nothing, or I could have spoken up for the developers who are caught in this very unfortunate development in the industry who do really believe in what they work what they're working on they really care they want to make games using their passion and their skills and their art and they're mm -hmm. forced into these really awful situations and i want to speak up for gamers so that they understand that they have a voice that they are being heard and the industry does need to hear this is he saying gamers rise up is that what he's saying and i have accepted <laughs> the consequences of my action that there will be negative repercussions for me and I've accepted that. And that's just... That's crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. Guys, I think we should have equality. Faces repercussions. <laughs> Bro, to be that's crazy. In order to get that's so wild. back on track. I don't want to keep making these industry speeches. And I don't like making them. God, it, dude, it's so... It still weirds me out thinking about it. Like, man, how did the Tumblr thing take over? How, dude, how did it get all the way to the White House? That's fucking crazy. That's so crazy. No, I'm not the White House. Sorry, that's what I meant. How did they get all the way like deep into like even like political like lawmaking authority? Like how did how did Tumblr how did like how did Tumblr Omegaverse uh fucking Mpreg like dick sucking how did that how did that how did that containment fail and then start to infect like every single aspect of the world? Dude, Tumblr destroyed everything. What the fuck? So I will only speak when it is absolutely necessary. Dude, did you hear? Guys, I did you did you hear? There's an Omegaverse anime, wasn't there? Wait, somebody told me this. Somebody somebody told me there was an Omegaverse anime. Hold on. Everyone, take care of yourselves. I just, I want my next video, so just be fun. No, it was in the pretty Just something fun. I will keep creating the character analysis videos i think those are a lot of fun and i'm really enjoying hear from, hearing from all of you take care everyone i'm going to enjoy a coffee be well have a good coffee man enjoy enjoy a coffee